Good morning. Good morning to everyone. God bless each of you and thank you so much for joining us this morning for plugging into the power of prayer. I am Dr. Corrine Johnson. Thank each of you so much for joining this morning. Uh, God bless each of you. Um, once again, thank you so much for um, getting up and pressing your way on live to uh, intercede on behalf of the nations, to intercede on behalf of our families, um, our jobs, our homes, our churches, our leaders. So we just thank God for each of you on this morning and God bless you all that are listening to the replay right now. We thank God for you as well for uh, tuning in. Um, one thing that um, that we as believers must know is that we must operate in the authority. Uh, Jesus, when we begin to study our Bibles, we see where Jesus gave his disciples power and authority over all devils in the book of Matthew 10. And we also know on this morning that we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. And so since we are seated with Christ in heavenly places this morning, we must know uh, that we are seated above all powers and all principalities um, on this morning. And so that's going to be um, our key scripture this morning, uh, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 20 through 21. Um, it tells us that we are seated with Christ in heavenly places, far above all principalities and powers. Uh, our final scripture is going to be Luke 10 and 19. And it says that we have authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions. And so we see here where Jesus promised us in his word that nothing would hurt us. And many of us as believers, we are suffering unnecessarily uh, this morning because we are failing to exercise our authority in the earth through prayer and decreeing and declaring uh, what the word uh, of the Lord uh, is saying uh, over our lives on this morning. And so as we begin to go forth uh, in prayer this morning, we must begin to exercise um, our authority this morning in the earth. Our prayer focus this morning is we're going to be bombarding heaven this morning on behalf of the nations on this morning. We're going to be praying for our nations uh, this morning. And so as we go into prayer, I ask that even though I'm the one that's leading the prayer, that for you all that are, are listening, intercede with me on behalf so we can begin to govern the affairs that are going on in the earth right now. So we can begin to govern the chaos that is going on uh, in the earth right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I loose confusion against every satanic and demonic conspiracy against our lives this morning in Jesus' name. Father God, we declare, let the secret counsel of the wicked be turned into foolishness this morning, oh God. Father God, we ask this morning that you will begin to send out your lightning this morning, O Lord, and scatter the enemy this morning, O God. Father, we decree and declare that you will begin to destroy and divide their tongues, O God. You said that no weapon that's formed against us shall prosper, O God. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment that you would condemn, O God. And so, Father, I ask this morning, O God, Father God, that the gates, O God, and plans of hell shall not prevail against us this morning. Father, we overcome every strategy against the devil in our, uh, upon our life, O oh God, in Jesus' name, against our life, O oh God, in Jesus' name, O oh God. Father, we declare this morning that every strategy of hell is exposed and brought to light, O oh God. 
Father, we receive the plans that you have for our lives this morning, oh God. Thoughts of peace, God, and not evil, God, to bring us to an expected end, oh God. Father God, we declare that we are delivered, oh God, from every satanic trap and plot against our lives this morning, oh God. Father God, we ask right God that you would begin to release your whirlwind this morning, oh God, to scatter those who will conspire against us, oh God. Father God, let those who devise our hurt, oh God, be turned back and brought to confusion this morning, oh God. Father God, let the nets that they have hid, Lord God, let it catch themselves, oh God, into that very destruction. Let them fall, oh God. Father, we ask this morning, oh God, that you hide us from the secret counsel of the wicked this morning, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. And so, Father, we declare this morning, oh God, that our nations, oh God, will be awakened this morning, oh God. Let the earth hear the voice of the Lord in this hour, oh God. Father God, the Lord is calling us. Lord, we thank you this morning, oh God, that you are calling us because we are your children this morning, oh God. That you are calling the nations, Lord God, to a place of repentance, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. Father, realizing that you will judge the nations in your sight. Father, we ask this morning that you will put the nations to fear, oh God, that they may know themselves to be but mere men, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. Father, there are so many in our nations right now, oh God. Father God, that are wicked this morning, oh God. There are so many, oh God, in our nations this morning, oh God, that, that are plotting and planning oh God, against your people this morning, oh God, in Jesus' name. And so, Father, we ask right now, oh God, that you let them realize that they are but mere men, oh God, and that you have the ultimate authority and power in the lives of the believers, oh God, in Jesus' name. Father, the whole creation is groaning and laboring to be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Father God, we ask this morning, O oh God, that you will begin to send forth your spirit of truth to bear witness of you, O oh God, and to convict the world of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment, O oh God. Father God, we ask that you cause the nations, O oh God, to begin to repent and turn from their idols, oh God, and turn back to you, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. Whatever the idols may be, oh God, whether it's our possessions, oh God, whether the idol is our jobs, oh God. Father God, the idols, oh God, may be somebody else, oh God. The idols, oh God, may be their marriages, oh God. The idols may be their children, oh God. Whatever idols, oh God, whatever we have replaced God with, we ask right now, oh God, that your people, oh God, will begin to turn back to you in Jesus' name, oh God. Let them put down their idols this morning, oh God. Father God, realizing that they're trying to replace you, oh God. Father God, in the earth, oh God, that they have forgotten your name in the earth, oh God, in Jesus' name, because men think that they are in power, oh God. But Father, I ask right now that you show yourself mighty in the earth, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. Father God, I ask this morning that you begin to shake the nations, oh God, so that they will come to the, the desire of all nations, oh God, where they will begin to desire you, Lord Jesus. Father, cause your people to rise up, Lord God. Gather your mighty ones, Lord God, to prepare for war, oh God. Bring the multitudes into the valley of decisions, oh God. Father God, there's no more straddling the fence in this hour, oh God. Father, we declare, oh God, that you are bringing us into the multitude, the multitudes into the valley of decision, oh God. We're going to have to choose you, oh God. We're going to have to stand for you, oh God, or either we're going to have to stand for Satan, oh God. In Jesus' name, no more straddling the fix in this hour, oh God, in Jesus' name. We are calling your people right now, Lord God, to a decision, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. Father, we decree and declare that you will begin to send your ambassadors, oh God, into all the nations, oh God. Open up a door, oh God, for them to begin to speak the word of God, Lord God, to the nations, oh God, and that the gospel of the kingdom may be preached in all of the world, oh God. Father, I ask right now, Lord God, that you begin to shift the focus of your people, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. Begin to shift the focus, oh God, into the gospel of the kingdom, oh God, so we can begin to reach the lost in this hour, oh God, in Jesus' name. 
name, oh God. Father, you have declared to your people, oh God, that the power of your works and giving them the heritage of the nations, oh God. So, Father, we ask that every knee, Lord God, will begin to bow, oh God, and that every tongue will begin to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Whatever we have exalted above you, oh God, I declare this morning, oh God, that it will bow to the name of Jesus, oh God. Father God, I declare this morning that haughtiness have got to bow to the name of Jesus, oh God. Arrogance and pride have got to bow to the name of Jesus, oh God. Father God, our nation has become puffed up, oh God. But I declare right now, oh God, that they begin to bow to the name of Jesus. Oh God, whatever, Lord God, we have exalted, Lord God, money, fame, oh God, whatever we have exalted, God, above your name, oh God, I declare that it bow to you this morning, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And Father, I even declare, Lord God, over your people this morning, oh God, that the spirit of fear and anxiety and sickness, oh God, and disease, oh God, that it will begin to bow to the name of Jesus, oh God. And Father, Father, we thank you in advance for your healing, oh God. We thank you in advance for your deliverance, oh God. In Jesus' name, oh God. Father God, we ask that you cause the righteousness, oh God, and praise, Lord God, to spring forth in the earth, oh God. Let the earth be filled with the knowledge of your glory, oh God. Father God, we ask this morning that you would begin to gather the nation together, God, that they may begin to worship you and exalt you in all of the earth, oh God. Oh, Father, this morning, oh God, we exalt your name, oh God. Father God, we lift you up this morning, oh God, because you are worthy, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for being a hedge of protection around us, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you are calling, Lord God, the nations, oh God, to a place of repentance, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that you are calling the nations to begin to exalt you in all the earth, oh God. Father God, we ask this morning, oh God, in your son named Jesus, oh God, Father God, that you, Lord God, would begin to cover our minds in this hour, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. Father, so many are falling by the wayside, oh God, because the enemy are, is attacking their minds, oh God. And so, Father, we cover minds this morning under the blood of Jesus, oh God. Father God, we decree and we declare this morning, oh God, that you have not given us, oh God, the spirit of fear, oh God, but you have given us that of power power, love, and soundness of mind this morning, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. So, Father, we declare this morning that the nations will be blessed through your people, oh God. Father, and we then the wealth, oh God, of the heathen will be gathered together and be delivered into the hands of your people for the work of the Lord. Father God, we ask that you send forth your salvation to the ends of the earth, oh God, and make your enemies your footstool, oh God. In Jesus' name, O oh God. Father, you are our God of Israel this morning, and they are your people, O oh God. And so, Father, we pray for Jerusalem this morning, O oh God. Father, you named them, Lord God, even though they didn't know you, O oh God. Father God, we ask right now, Lord God, that you would begin to cleanse us, O oh God, from all of our iniquities, O oh God. And you will begin to pardon all of their sins, O oh God, in Jesus' name, O oh God. Father, even as we lift up Jerusalem this morning, O oh God, save them with an everlasting salvation, Lord God. Raise them up in righteousness and direct all of their ways this morning, O oh God. Redeem Israel this morning out of all of their trouble, O oh God. Be a a shelter for your people this morning and the strength of the children of Israel, oh God. Father, we ask right now, Lord God, that you will begin to bring health and healing, Lord God, to them and to their land, oh God, revealing to them your abundance of peace and truth, oh God. Let the eyes of our understanding be enlightened, oh God. Give them the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ this morning, oh God. Let Israel be to you a name of praise, oh God, and honor before all the nations of the earth, oh God. Proclaiming all the good, Lord God, that you have done for us, oh God, and causing fear and trembling among the nations, oh God, because of all the goodness and prosperity that you provide for it, oh God. Restore everything, Lord God, that has been removed, oh God, from Jerusalem, oh God. Father, send them grain and new wine and oil to satisfy them, oh God. Make their enemies be at peace with them and no longer let 
Let them be a reproach upon the nations, O oh God. Father God, seek out your sheep and deliver them, O oh God, from the people and countries where they have been scattered, O oh God, and bring them into their own land, O oh God. I pray this morning, O oh God, for the peace of Jerusalem, O oh God, that they may prosper, O oh God, that love you, O oh God. Lord, cause their enemies to cease from the land, O oh God. Make them all the places around Jerusalem a blessing, O oh God, and cause showers of blessings to come upon them in their due season, O oh God. Let your people dwell safely in their land, O oh God, delivered from trouble from all the kingdoms of the earth, O oh God, in Jesus' name, O oh God. And so, Father, we thank you this morning, O oh God, Father God, that even now, O oh God, that you, Father God, are releasing your angels, oh God, and they are encamping all around us in Jesus' name, oh God. They are encamping around us in Jesus' name, oh God. And so, Father, we just thank you this morning, oh God. We thank you this morning, oh God, for your healing the land this morning, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for healing the nations this morning, oh God. We thank you for even healing America this morning, oh God. And we declare this morning that your people are turning back to you even now in Jesus' name name. And so, Father, we pray this morning, oh God, for healing for your people, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. Father God, we understand this morning, oh God, that your people are destroyed for lack of knowledge this morning, oh God. God. And Father, we want to thank you this morning, oh God, that we have been redeemed from the curse of the law this morning, having become a curse for us, oh God, that you bore our sins, oh God, in your own body, Lord God, on the cross, oh God, that we having died to sins, God, might live for righteousness by whom strikes we were healed. Father God, you were wounded for our transgressions, God. You were bruised for our iniquities, oh God. And the chastisement uh, for our peace was upon you, oh God. And by your stripes, we are healed, oh God. And so, Father, we pray this morning, oh God, for healing to the nations, oh God. Father, we pray for healing, Lord God, emotionally, oh God. We pray for healing, oh God, mentally, oh God. We pray for healing, Lord God, in their, bo in their bodies, oh God, in their minds, oh God. We pray for healing spiritually this morning, oh God. In Jesus' name, oh God. Father, we just ask right now, oh God, that you would, Father God, begin, Lord God, to encamp your angels of the Lord around us, oh God, right now, oh God, and heal us and keep us in all of your ways, oh God, this morning, in Jesus' name, oh God. And so, Father, we just thank you this morning, oh God, and we decree and declare, oh God, that every prayer this morning, every declaration this morning that has been released this morning, oh God, Oh, Father, we thank you right now, oh God, that your kingdom come, that your will be done in the earth, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father God, let your kingdom, oh God, be established in the earth, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. Lord, you reign this morning, oh God. Father God, you are clothed this morning, oh God, with majesty and strength, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you are a great king this morning above all kings, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. Father, we decree and declare Lord, that you reign this morning, oh God. Let the people tremble. Let the earth, Lord God. Father God, be moved, oh God. Father, we thank you this morning, oh God, that all men will begin to bless your name this morning, oh God. We thank you that your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom this morning, oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for giving us dominion and authority in the earth, oh God, to begin to declare and decree and speak those things that are not, Father God, as though they were this morning, oh God. In Jesus' name, oh God. Father, we ask you this morning, God, to let your righteousness, oh God, your peace and your joy of the kingdom, oh God, be established in our lives, oh God, and in the nations this morning, oh God. Father God, we overthrow the thrones of wicked kingdoms this morning, oh God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And Father, we seek first your kingdom this morning and your righteousness, oh God, such that all things may be added unto us this morning, oh God. In Jesus' name, oh God. In Jesus' name, oh God. In Jesus' name, oh God. So Father, this morning, oh God, we command, Lord God, our day, oh God, on today, oh God. Father, we command our day, oh God to come into alignment with your plans and with your purposes for our day, oh God. Father God, we decree and declare, oh God, that you are with us as we go out, oh God, that you are with us as we come in, oh God, in Jesus' name, oh God. 
And Father God, we realize that there is an enemy, oh God, that is seeking to devour us, oh God. But Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you are with us, O oh God, and that you will cover us under your blood, O oh God, in Jesus' name, O oh God. Father, we thank you this morning, O oh God. Father God, not only that you are with us, O oh God, but Father God, we ask you, Lord God, that you keep us in all of our ways, O oh God. Let your angels be encamped around us, O oh God, day by day, O oh God. We bind every attack of the enemy right now in Jesus' name, O oh God. Father God, we bind and rebuke every spirit, Lord God, that will come up against us, O oh God, in Jesus' name, O oh God. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that your angels, O oh God, guard and protect us, O oh God, in Jesus' name, O oh God. Father, we thank you right now, Lord God, not only for your angels, O oh God, but Father God, we thank you this morning, Lord God, for your goodness, O oh God. We thank you for your mercy this morning, O oh God. Father, we thank you this morning, O oh God, for keeping us, O oh God. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that, that many have left the earth, O oh God, but we are here right now, O oh God, to release your glory in the earth, O oh God. And so, Father, we just ask right now, in Jesus' name, O oh God, that you use us, O oh God, as vessels of, of honor, O oh God, to begin to release your glory in the earth. And so, Father, we just thank you right now, Lord God. We bless your name, Lord God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, on this morning. And Father, we just cover your people this morning under the blood of Jesus, O oh God. We cover your people under the blood of Jesus, God. And we declare this morning, O oh God, that your blood, Lord God, will be a hedge of protection around them, oh God, not only to just for today, but from this time forth and forevermore, God, that your blood will be a hedge of protection around your people, oh God, that the enemy will not be able to penetrate, oh God, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name we do pray, amen and amen. And I just want to say to uh, each of you that have that have tuned in, that have joined us on this morning, that as we are as we are praying each morning, that we must understand that prayer uh, is one of the ways that we begin to release the will of God upon the earth. A lot of times we see different things going on in the earth and we think that there's nothing that we can do as the believer. Uh, we think that uh, that what we see, the chaos, the confusion that we see that's going on in the earth, that, that there's nothing that we can do. But I want to tell you this morning that God has called each of us to begin to pray so we can begin to bring order to what we see going on in the earth. And this is why as we're praying, we must pray the word of God. We got to pray the word of God effectively. Uh, concerning what's going on around us. We got to pray with understanding. We got to understand the will of God. And when we begin to understand the word of God, which is the will of God, it will begin to help us begin to pray correctly because the Bible tells us that we are not to be unwise. But when we are, are praying, we are to pray. Uh, we are to be understanding the will of the Lord. So not only does prayer help us begin to bring order to what's going on in the earth, but when we understand the will of God that's going on in the earth, we can begin to open up our mouth and we can begin to release prayer into the atmosphere and begin to shift some things that are going on in the earth. When we look at Proverbs 18 and 21, it tells us that the life and death are in the power of our tongues. And so the words that we speak are, are either spirit or either they're going to be life. And so we cannot afford in this hour to be snared by the words of our mouth. But we got to begin to articulate what God is saying, what his will is, what his word is. And we got to pray according to the pattern of God's word. And when we begin to release God's word through our tongue, and then he will in turn cause his power to begin to manifest the very things that we are praying. We will begin to see it manifest in the earth. And so we must understand that Jesus taught us in the word that our faith is released through our words. And so not only is our faith released through our words this morning, 
but our faith-filled words can begin to move mountains. So as we are praying, we, we got to pray and we got to believe what we are praying. As I am praying over you, you got to believe and receive that the words that I am releasing, the word of the Lord that I am releasing, that it is going to manifest the will of God, that it is going to manifest the power of God into the earth. Because our faith is going to be the key to seeing miracles and breakthrough on a consistent basis. So as I pray, as I pray, and you all are touching and agreeing with the word of the Lord, we got to stand in faith so we can believe that whatever we ask in prayer, that we're going to receive and that we're going to see the manifestation of what we are praying in the earth. We got to understand on this morning that the word is in our mouth and in our heart. If we know the word, it's going to consistently be in our mouth, it's in our heart. And this word is the word of faith. And so what has to take place, the Lord is saying, is that the mouth and the heart got to connect. You know, we can't begin to pray to God and then don't believe in our heart for what we're praying him for. And so we must understand that God is saying that he's going to watch over his word to perform it. So as we're praying and we're bombarding heaven and, and we're releasing prayer into the earth, God is going to watch over every word. That's why we have to pray his word. We have to pray what the word says. We have to pray his will into the earth because when we pray the word of God, God will begin to watch over his word to perform it. The Bible says that he delights in answering our prayers, but we got to begin to pray according to the pattern. The Bible also says that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And so therefore we got to pray without ceasing. But as we're praying, we got to be righteous, not flawless, but righteous. We got to be righteousness and we have been made righteous through the blood of Jesus. So on this morning, as we close in prayer this morning, remember throughout the day, as always, wherever you go, even when you're in your homes, plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus. And also go ahead on for you all, uh, get you um, some anointing oil for you all that don't uh, have any anointing oil. Go get you some anointing oil and begin to uh, anoint your homes. Pray in your homes. Um, yesterday, I instructed you to go to YouTube. Um, they have uh, different videos on YouTube. John Eckhart has a powerful video on uh, prayer on YouTube called Prayers That Route Demons. Um, leave it, uh, when you go to work in the morning time, leave it playing on your laptop or on whatever device you want to leave it on and just let it begin to saturate your homes. Uh, let it just begin to release prayer um, throughout your home. So when you come back, your homes are saturated. Even while you are sleeping at night, begin to Pray, begin to go to those YouTube prayers and just let them pray, pray, play low, lowly in your homes. And as they are praying while you are sleeping, the will of God and the word of God is still being released even while you are sleeping and saturating your home with the word of God and prayer. So get you some anointing oil and begin to anoint your homes begin to pray uh, in your homes. And even as you are praying, um, know that God, that God is going to not only hear, but he's going to answer your prayers. And so once again, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for joining um, me this morning for plugging into the power of prayer. God bless each of you. God bless each of you that will hear the replay. Uh, I plead the blood of Jesus over your day and I decree and I declare that today will be a great day. I decree and I declare that prosperity and abundance is yours. I decree and declare that you're blessed going in, you're blessed coming out. 
blessed in the city, blessed in the field. I just decree and declare God's protection over you and over your family and over every area of your life in Jesus name. And so until we meet again, it is my prayer that the spirit of the Lord will begin to rest, rule and abide with you now and henceforth more and forevermore. Go in peace. God bless you and have a great day.